Hello. Hi, hi. Congrats on the first hazard. How are you? Calm down, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> We're just keeping you warm. Always a good boy. How are you doing, Hazari? Good night, morning. <laughs> good early morning, late evening. We're going to take a break from our regularly scheduled fight with Kos to do something that should be pretty easy by comparison. I'm doing alright. We are going to do... Oh my god, child. Hi. We are going to do... Lawrence. Babu. Why are you waking yourself up, huh? I'm gonna move you and put you up. Otherwise, doing well. Four more. Blood vials will be good. Want to nom me a little bit, little bit? Are you good? It's up to you. You don't want that? Oh, oh, what is it? Why, you, young man? You were just asleep. Why you wake back up? Why you wake back up? I just spent an hour putting you to sleep, and why you wake now? Why are you again, huh? Huh? But yeah, other than the fact I spent about an hour and a half putting him to sleep, pretty good. Hit you. Not what I wanted to have happen. That's okay. Bubble. Okay. I mean, he's technically the only. Cleric Beast variant, but yeah. Hey, you enjoy the she? Morning. Hi, Babu. Hi. You sure you don't want any nami nom? You sure you don't want a little bit? No? Okay. <laughs> Hi. That was like a eight minute power nap for you. Alright. We're going to attempt to first break him at least down to 70% without having to waste too many blood vials. Not that type of first time in a week. Nice. Man, my voice was dying yesterday. Like halfway through the stream, and I was tired as hell. It's fine. I'd rather not waste the blood vials and bullets if I don't have to. I just want to break your head. Break your head. 
Oh, yes, young man. What is it? What is it? Let's try using the black sky eye. While I'm thinking about it. I have a new strategy I also want to attempt for Orphan. Once we get there. to allow breaking heads is pretty normal for Lawrence. I know in the first phase, breaking his head is pretty much the common way to deal with him. After first phase, I think first and second phase. Third phase, I think, is the weird one. I may have not been technically aiming at his head. As you can see, though, I have the visceral... The visceral, uh... Visceral's heal. Okay. Oh no, I got trapped in the wall. <laughs> Hi, ruler of ruin. How you doing? Probably have him on the third try. But yeah, I have the visceral break. Or Visceral Heal Rune Equipped. Which I can essentially use to have infinite blood bullets during the first phase of the Orphan fight. I think good Ruler of Ruin. The second phase is where it'll get a lot more... Tedious isn't the word. The second phase is where it's going to get a lot more... Okay. Let me be careful and try to be... Try to not get hurt. I think I remember when you can parry him second phase too. I was looking through my VOD. Trying to be like, okay, when when is it acceptable to parry this SOB? I mean he's not super frail. He actually has, I think, as much health or more than Orphan does. The the big thing is that while he has a ton of health, he has break points, unlike Orphan. So that helps.
Oh, I thought I could dodge that. Huh? I've had, I've had these spells. I got Black Eye last stream. I had Call of Beyond from the stream before that. I just haven't been using them. <laughs> Call of Beyond isn't good against Orphan, because it's arcane. Um... Black Sky Eye we got last stream when we, uh, went to the alternate cathedral. But... It kind of functions like a bullet, kind of like Ebriatus does. But it's... Yeah, it's next to... All the one. Oh my god. All the one mages mage dudes. I'm not gonna say no, but yeah. All right. Once more with feeling. Really? Well, I didn't land a visceral on that, so I'm a little annoyed. Oh, that actually hit me. Yes, Babu, what is it? What is it? <laughs> He's being a comboy there. You mean calm and relaxing? You mean calm and relaxed? The games are very different as far as how they feel in different circumstances. Where are you? this initial visceral to also not to heal at all. Come on. Lies of yeah, I liked a lot. It is definitely my favorite non um souls like. Visceral.
Oh my god. Goodbye, Lawrence. Babu, right. Babu, one second, one second. Later, Scaria. This way. Are you hungry? Okay. There you go. But yeah, this is gonna be the same fundamental thing we do for um for orphan. So we're not gonna use black sky eye. So we're gonna remove that. Or call beyond. We're still gonna use Ebriatus, because Ebriatus is really good for his when he jumps over us. Now the The big thing is going to be Visceral Repost gives us a our visceral health regen. It gives us a really, really good like point to keep parrying him through phase one. That should leave us with a full 24 vials for phase two. If we want to be really cheesy with 24 vials and 20 bullets, I can probably magic him to death in phase two as long as I don't take any stupid hits. She says, while well, almost taking a stupid hit. But, and now we're full health. This becomes the basis for this first part of the run here. This is the DLC boss, yes. I spent four hours yesterday fighting. You can also counter his 180 degree swipes. I haven't tried that, but... It's apparently something you can do. I think I know which swipes can also be parried in his second phase, but I'm not 100% sure I can pull it off. Is part of the problem. Because it should be, I think, whenever he puts his weapon on the side of him. Whenever he fully engages on the side attack. But it's only when he's doing slow movement, not when he's doing fast movement. I think anytime he's fast, you can't parry him. Come on, jump. Jump. That's what I want. Okay. Five more bullets for three. 
Oh god, oh fuck me. It's okay. We wasted no resources though. Well, it's not even like fast, it's mostly just that. So, in his first phase, his under attack, his over attack, and his 280 degree swipes, not his 360 degree swipes, are parryable. In his second phase, it's his left to right attacks that are parryable. Whenever he swings his weapon from left to right. <laughs> Almost all of his over head attacks are jumps. Or he's holding these, the uh, umbilicate, umbilicus, the placenta in front of him. So, those do not work. Umbilicus, it's not an umbilicus, Asuka. Umbilical cord. And placenta. Okay. Twice without a stun. That's on me. I just need to walk under him there. Nope. That one you can parry. The time window is just kind of tight on it. It's right near the end of the window. So you have to do it like near the end there. And it's really easy to accidentally. Oh my god. Of course. You didn't want to get parried there. Because why? Would you make this easy on me? Alright. I don't waste any resources until... Okay. Until second phase. Then we should be able to get away without you wasting resources until second phase. I think it's because I'm not right behind him when I'm doing the attack. <laughs> Shows you how much health I have if one visceral attack refills all of my health. Yeah, come on. How you doing, Selena? By the way... What is this BS? We don't have vigor in the house. Yeah, we're doing a grace run. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, well. I like the health runs too. It's a little more challenging, and you also get a chance to be like, and I'm gonna break you. No. Denied. No! Fuck you. Jump. Jump at me, bro. I know it's scary. It's so scary. She keeps cantering me when you jump. Man, 
up, young man. We're going to go ahead and use the cord here. As we should be getting the second phase here. <laughs> Likes Pajawi. Hey, Kazari. Think with head pads. You're thinking V with his mama now. Sweet child, of course, returns to the ocean. A bottomless curse, a bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is and can be. Well, yeah. There's a whole thing that essentially. When we look at, like, the nightmare and the idea of, like, what's going on with it. That they experimented on the original orphan, and that's where they got the umbilical cord pieces. I thought there was a piece of umbilical cord there. Am I misremembering? Well, I do, I do Garmin and Moon Presence, but yeah. Have mercy, Hunter. 
I'm trying to decide if we want to do the Chalice Dungeon Queen, or if I'll save that for like a New Game Plus run at some point. The Chalice Dungeons are going to take a long time. Like, it's a lot of work. <laughs>